Uh, this is just a minor update on the um, DIY Maxim Power Point Charge Controller that I've been working on. Got the board uh, fully populated, or just about, and it works. Or at least the um, uh, load management and um, battery charge level indication bits work. Although I need to tweak the values for the uh, set points for these because the uh, yellow LED shouldn't be coming on until the battery gets between about 11.8 volts or 11.9 volts and 12.2 uh, volts and the batteries at 12 that I'm testing this off of is at 12.4 volts right now so um, those need a bit of tweaking and that one LED is flashing just because uh, there's no hysteresis between each uh, level it's just uh, one's one set point or it's another or it's another and it just goes straight from one to another and back. There's no history issues or anything. But, um... Got the full test algorithm, which I have on the paper behind this thing. This part of it, it's a five pages of code. But, um... So this thing also has an experimental MPPT algorithm on it. But I have uh, yet to have a chance to really test it because um, uh, again, I just finished building the thing and it's night outside and uh, weather was not necessarily conducive to testing a photovoltaic array. But in theory, if I hook up a photovoltaic array to this thing, it should work. You really need to work on that. I also try and experiment with some hysteresis. But again, those are revisions for the code to make it a future date, although I've got plenty of space in the micro because the code that I've written so far only uses about 16% of, of the available code space, and that's an almost finished algorithm, so there's plenty of room to experiment. By the way, the microcontroller that I'm using for this is a PIC 160685. The next one is an MCP6000 for operational amplifier, a device which I've yet to populate, or yet to stick in the um, socket for it, is an RS2004 um, FET half bridge driver. That's for driving the uh, buck converter. Because this board does have synchronous rectification. <laughs> um, although there's also a, a, a um, Chaki rectifier wired in uh, parallel with the low side FET just to reduce some um, power losses during the 500 nanoseconds or so portion of the um, of the uh, buck converter operating period when neither FET is conducting and as a result the um, the um, there'd be fairly high power dissipation during those periods in during that portion of the uh, period when the parasitic diode in that FET was conducting so again that's, that's just for efficiency purposes and also that reduced power dissipation increases the life of the low side fit which is also a good thing and down there is uh, and right there are a pair of 47 volt uh, avalanche diodes just as anti-reverse or just for transient protection because those MOSFETs are only good to 60 volts and in a test when testing um, various prototype uh, buck converter boards I was having issues with the um, I don't know, it's changing. I need to test that with a known power supply. But anyways, I was having issues with the fetch getting killed. And considering that those things aren't cheap, um, about a buck something a piece, which isn't too bad for um, power fetch in this range, but again, don't want to kill too many of them. By the way, those are PSMN 406-60 PS uh, fetch. Diode I don't remember, the Shaki, I don't remember what its part number is. But, um, anyways, there's the uh, photovoltaic array potential divider. The, um, um anti reverse current, um, uh, fit turn on uh, threshold adjustment pot, which I just put there because it had accessible 5 volts and 0 volt rails because that's what is because the uh, pick is being supplied from right over there because it's 
input because it's a 5 volt and uh, ground pins are pin 1 and uh, pin 20 so anyways so yeah that's why I did that and there's a bypass cap for the um, micro a couple of um, bypass caps on the uh, the inputs to the um, uh, potential follower bits of the uh, MCP6004 because I'm just using them as potential followers because uh, just as um, so I can use a much lower or much higher impedance um, a potential divider just for reduced power cons uh, consumption in the device and those are just to short out any QRM and crap and reduce the influence it has on the measurements Just that it's now up to uh, full green, which I don't know if it should be that high. I need to check the code, but anyways, um, and there's an IOS 2004 FET um, bypass, um, <coughs> um, FET half bridge driver, and it's being fed, uh, or just a jumper over the trace feeding that. There's MC34063, um, Buck converter driver, that's just a 5 volt logic supply for the um, marker controller um, operational amplifier, it's an MCP6004 yeah, MCP I haven't mentioned that already, again, no short term memory, can't remember what I've said already but, uh, that just supplies the 5 volt logic supply to those two chips and the Hall effect current sensor which is an ACS713 which is on the other side of the board then also on the other side of the board are all the various um, <clears> there's <throat> some other power MOSFETs, there's some AOD403s which are used as load control switches for the uh, dump load and low potential disconnect load or load low potential disconnect uh, output and the uh, IPD042P03L3 that's being used for uh, the um, anti-reverse current uh, switch this provides a lower wall solution using a shaky rectifier and it also keeps the um, low side fit from shorting out uh, the um, the battery because that because um, the way the fit driver is configured that will shut it the um, or when the um, logic signal from the pick will be low which it will be when the thing is not operating when there's no photovoltaic array or when the photovoltaic array is not generating any electricity that FET will be on, and because FETs are bi-directional, uh, that pulls the um, um, buck converter um, output, or the um, the uh, half-bridge output to ground, which shorts out things, which is bad. So that hence the uh, diode and uh, the MOSFET. The diode is just to provide a lower loss um, path when there's only a few amperes of current or less from the photovoltaic array. Nice. And this is the other side of the board. There's the um, AC713 Hall effect current sensor. The IPD042 P03L3 uh, FET for the um, anti reverse current switch. And the two AOD403 is for the load control. The, um, that one's for the uh, low potential disconnect, or the load low potential disconnect, and that's for the dump load. And then notice the photovoltaic array and puts it over there. And all that uh, random crap side on the board is just um, for increasing the um, current capacity of the board because the general rule of thumb is 25 mils uh, track width per ampere. Um, but uh, again, I just put that on there just to uh, reduce losses because again, don't want ex extraneous heat because a lot of these copper fields are being used as heat sinks for parts on the board so again as little want to minimize the uh, what the um, losses in them as much as possible and this is just a rough overview of the code there's the um, register configuration gaff um, this is just some random uh, mnemonic assignments and uh, or, um, alias assignments and um, variable Configuration gaff. This is the startup sequence at the beginning. Oh, 
And this is the huge if else if end if statement uh, that controls the better potential settings. Again, I'm going to need to tweak these values a bit, and I'll probably um, <coughs> clean the code up a bit because right now it's still a bit of um, fist bashery, uh, brute forcing stuff. And uh, this is the. Um, Now this is pretty much it. It's a pair of um, while loops, one of which uh, decreases the PVRA um, operating potential, or one of which increases it up from the battery to the maximum power point potential of the array. And then when it overshoots, that loop stops executing goes to this one which reduces it again until it drops down to the maximum power point potential and then um, that's it then this is which is a um, which is a bit where just um, increase this is just for the floating the battery when it's fully charged this um, increases the photovoltaic array potential until the battery potential settles at the um, at the um, charge uh, settles at the flow potential threshold if it undershoots that it leaves this loop and goes back to executing the maximum power point uh, loop on the next pass through the algorithm again I may experiment with subroutines just to make the code a bit cleaner but again this is all just um, Hardware, hardware portion, at least for this part of the thing, is pretty much done now. It's herping, herping, herping together some decent software. So, yeah. Fun.